Oh hi, Assalamualaikum. For today's video, I'm going to present you my final year project in Diploma Landscape Architecture. But before we start, I would like to introduce myself. My name is Mama Nura Izan Bin Rahim and I am a Landscape Architecture student at UITM Sri Iskandar, Perak. So let's start my final year project presentation. Located at Pantai Punggur Batu Pahat, Johor, this presentation able to give you some understanding for the future developments of Pantai Punggur. Let's get started. Pantai Punggur is a beach that offers a quiet environment for those who want a taste to relax and fishing. The beach is located in a village called Punggur. Pantai Punggur was a very popular for those who want to relax, picnic, swimming, fishing and sightseeing at early 2000. But in 2005, a bad coastal erosion has started. This recreational beach is located 30 km from Batu Pahat town. This beach is often used as a place to relax by the local on the weekend. For those who want to spend a quality time with your family, this beach can be a place for a family destination. Based on the strict local plan of Batu Bahar 2011, Punggur will be enhanced as a Taman Tabatan, a natural element that found in the area, such as a beautiful river, mangrove area, and beautiful coastal capable of providing a development that can produce image and high quality of community waterfront. So what do you think about my site which is Pantai Bungur? Interesting place right? But there are still some issues that I'm going to show you. These are all my bots of inventory and analysis that related to sort analysis. And first we are going to look at the strength. So for the strength, what I have obtained is the natural features. Pantai Bungur have a beautiful panoramic natural view that can give a peaceful and relaxing sense to the visitors. Visitors will not regret the experience that will be felt at Pantai Bungur. And moving to the next one, weakness. So the weakness is a poor imageability. The good open space cannot be seen from far and lack of good place and content is not able to get people's attention. Lack of accessibility or poor accessibility also found at Pantai Punggur. There is no walkway provided for the users which can endanger the users. And now let's move to opportunities. The mango forest at the site have an opportunity to be developed and have potentials to attract more visitors. Not to forget the passive area that have a beautiful view toward the shoreline shows that this area have opportunities to create a new activities for the visitors. At the last is thread. The coastal erosions that caused by the broken wave breaker give threat to the users. Some of the wave breaker can be drift due to massive wave. This broken wave breaker also leads to water runoff and soil slope. So at the end, it will affect the number of the local and the visitors. The next stage is conceptual development. The aim of the project is to incorporate a suitable design for the core issue at Pantai Punggur to a vibrant waterfront area. For the theme development, I came up with a tropical beach as my theme for the project. To get the theme, I have used three major issues, which is accessibility, coastal erosions, and safety. So all of this issue can lead to the design goal. By using the team, it also leads to the concept development. Sultry in Utopia is my concept for this project. Sultry in Utopia show tropical greenery and aesthetic.
So this is the finalized of my master plan design based on the concept of sultry in Utopia. Most of the design is inspired by Neo Nusantara concept which is clearly more to tropical design. The tropical designs also include the plant selection, material selections, motif and the form. For the designs of the wave breaker, I have inspired from the local successful projects such as Marang Trunganu and Pantai Tok Jembal Trunganu. This type of wave breaker design can show more natural look pattern and also protect the coastal area from the erosion. So now let's take a look for the spotting drawing of the master plan. The Iceland view is proposed to create a dynamic view by adding more tropical planting and unique form of walkway to give a good accessibility for the users. And move to the camping area. Camping area is proposed to add more attractive activity at the area. This area also can be a relaxing area underneath a planting shaded. Users can also enjoy a beautiful coastal view to get some fresh feelings. Next is the enlargement plan. For the enlargement plan, most of the area is focusing at the public beach, water play lagoon, and playground by the sea. This is because of I made this area as the core area of the site. Major issues such as accessibility, coastal erosion, and safety issues can be found at this area. It is also a strategic place to be enhanced. Many new activities and places has been added at the enlargement plan, such as a parent waiting area, water play area, playground, and food stall area. There are also many facilities that has been provided for the users for gathering or meeting purposes. And not to forget the permeable pavement parking that can reflect more solar energy, enhance water evaporation and remain cooler than conventional pavement. Last but not least, pedestrians overhead bridge. The pedestrian overhead bridge is built to connect between two spaces and make the area more attractive. The aesthetic nature habitat also gives a good view to the users and create a good habitat. Alhamdulillah, at the end of this project phase, I do experiencing a real working process individually with a lot of help from my studio master, lecturers and also my friends and family. Finally, I have completed all of the final project process and also this final presentation. May all of my understanding can be used wisely for my upcoming future. In overall, it was a great semester and experience for me. Alright, I think that we have reached to the end of the video. Thank you for spending your time watching my final presentations. Goodbye, stay safe, Assalamualaikum.